So let's take a look at the outside. Obviously, it's an A-Class. Uh, it's got these huge coach mirrors on there. You can see everything around you, really good. So here's the first of the big compartments. Got the lock here. Here you go, you push in and pull. It, it does bend a little bit, but you know, it, it is solid. And so you just give it a pull and open the sesame. Uh, and we can see inside here, we've got a lot of space. And if I'm just gonna dart around the other side now and show you that it goes all the way through. There we go, all this space. And even better, you can actually access it from inside. I'll show you that later. So also in here, we've got uh, a couple of switches one each side that uh, turn on the interior lights. The, the switch works the same way for both sides, it's just, uh, just put for ease of use there. You can see we've got the Dometic uh, inverter uh, at the back. Very nice, got a, a gas point here for the barbecue. Uh, and also these are centrally, centrally locked as well because I went round and unlocked everything before to get ready to film and uh, it's just unlocked itself. Uh, <laughs> On, it, on its own, so that's that's a good feature as well. Moving down the van, we've got the door. Uh, look at this, it's got an RFID tag, radio frequency, so you can open the door using one of these, or just pull it, but look at this. Opens all by itself once you first started it, like that. And then we've got the step. And this is a double step. And what I've found when I've been using it is actually, it's so natural in terms of the, the, uh, the footsteps going up there. It's just... They're all evenly spaced, so it's not like, you know, you, sometimes they're not and it can be a bit, feel a bit awkward, but this definitely doesn't feel awkward. We've got the fridge outlets. Uh, we've got the winter cover on it at the moment. We've got the electricity point. And you see it's a Cathargo, so it's going to have a big garage. This has probably locked itself as well with the central locking. Yes, it has, so I just need to undo it. There's a slight compromise on the line of the two in the fact that uh, because you've got a rear lounge, then you've got this piece here. This is basically the well where your feet go and this is going to be your seating area all around. But you know, it's a fair compromise, isn't it? What you need to do is take three pieces of the cushions off here. That's one, two, and you'll see on the seat piece, there's a cutout section here. And that is to allow for the space where the handlebars go in the garage. So now you can see the cushions are out. This is the, the section where the handlebars go. And now the only thing to do is push it up from outside. Hello. So now you've got the space in here to put your bikes in and then pull this back down. This is the bit I've been struggling with. You've got to pull this really, because if you hold anything else, you're going to get trapped. And it just won't come. So what I found, the best way i found to do this is actually from inside. And to just hold onto here. And as soon as it starts, it's not too bad. Just got to be careful with your fingers. And then it's, then it's down again. It's got a handy shower in the back. I haven't actually used this yet, so let's just see what happens. Oh, there we go. I like Glad that. You pointing that this way. Hot and cold. You've got your two different sockets. Hey presto, access all the way through. That's really handy to get your big items in and out. So as well as this big entrance here, you can see that it's got and the alloy floor to protect it. It's got a holder here for the awning uh, extraction and closing. It's got some bungee cords to secure things so they don't rattle around, maybe put your chairs behind those. Uh, over here, I can see is the, uh, the, 
the fresh and the grey access points. I was a bit surprised when I saw those on the side because on our motorhome they're actually flat but uh, I'm assuming that if, if I open that that the tank is not here, the tank's below and it's, you kind of reach into it. I'm not going to try it. Thargo, the garage is going to be heated as well. I think this is actually a vent rather than the, the heat, I'm not sure but it, it definitely will be heated. And we certainly, last night when we sat up there, we didn't feel any cold air coming up from the garage. Now I'm not sure if that's, that could be for the, uh, the wheel steadies. Uh, so if I just look underneath here, we've got the steadies. So these are manual steadies. Uh, we've also got a couple of wheels as well at the back there. I think that's, so when you, Go over something low, it stops you grounding out. I quite like that idea, really good. It's got a spare tyre. And it's also got the uh, the air suspension on this particular model. I think that's uh, an after fit. So from the back, you can see we've got one, two, around the side, three big windows there, the lounge windows. We've got the reversing camera there above this rear lounge. We've got the brake lights. This one's had a tow bar fitted. Moving round to the other side of the vehicle, so we have the garage, we've got the fresh water inlet, we've got the Audi heating outlet for the, the fumes, we've got the gas locker, and this one's been fitted with refillable gas cylinders, it's got two in here, look like 11 kilogram uh, gas bottles, we've got the fill point here for the, uh, for the gas bottle, toilet, so we've got the toilet set in here and you can see it's got this pipe because this has got the SUG system fitted so it basically sucks away all those nasty gases <laughs> and uh, what that does mean is you actually don't need to use any blue if you don't want to or you can reduce the amount of blue that you put in there so also better for the environment. Is there another point on the toilet you told me about earlier? Because I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> well I was reading the instruction manual earlier and uh, this particular model doesn't have it, but there is a model with a faeces uh, tank. I'm not quite sure how that works, but it's, yeah, it's all got separate, <laughs> separate things. I'm quite glad it, glad it hasn't got one, actually. So, moving on, this is the other door uh, that we saw earlier. Straight through to the other side, and, and uh, here we go again. We've got the other, here we go, we've got the switch here, just to show you there that uh, you can do the lights on both sides. Fuel, obviously diesel, uh, passenger door. So this this motor doesn't want me to get in, it keeps locking itself. <laughs> oh, there's and a little babe, it's a nice little light. <laughs> right, is there anything else to tell you about this motorhome from the outside? Apart from it's gorgeous. I'd say yeah. not. It is, it, it is gorgeous, it looks gorgeous, but for me, the, the Line of a 2 is all about the inside, it's, uh, it's just so magical inside, it's like a TARDIS, when you get in there it feels so much bigger. So now, welcome to the exciting part, the inside. I have so much to show you, it's a huge, you can tell why it's called the Dream Luxury Liner. Tadago have a four room concept, we think it's five, they have bedroom area, the bathroom, the kitchen and the lounge. So I'm going to show you why we think there's a five room concept. I'm going to show you the office. I'm going to be all official now on so we get my laptop out ready. So pull out here and then put your laptop on, get to work. So our stand is on here doing all his editing or whatever he needs to do. I could be in the back watching the telly. I'm going out for a walk, obviously. So if Andy needs a bit of peace and quiet, we can actually shut off this area by pulling this out. There we go. He's got his laptop on here. We've also got a USB socket and also a plug to plug the computer in. Okay, so the bedroom area, this is how it all works. You drop down seats either side and then we unhook either side of here 
goes together. I've even got little draft excluders that you pull up so that when your bed is down, you're not going to get any drafts coming through. Genius. Push on that. We've got our bed. Slide out the steps, which again, a little bit more storage. Each step added storage in there. We've got our light switches, which you can have one or both of them on. And the one thing, this was the one thing that I was quite concerned about because I don't like enclosed spaces, but the bedroom, I can tell you, does not feel enclosed at all. You've got your windows either side. So you've got your light coming on in in the morning. You've got this huge blind and also you're flying it on there and it's massive. So whilst you're in here, the luxury continues. You've got a TV here. You've also got your USB, little storage pockets, perfect. If you want total privacy, if you've got other guests staying and you want to go to bed and don't want to hear the noise, you can actually close it off. <laughs> so you can have that one shut to make it totally encapsulated or you can use the bathroom door. This is how we had it at night time. It just kept it really nice and cosy and warm in here. Um, and yeah, you've got this door, you can still get into the toilet, the bathroom area, perfect setup. So the beds are really well supported because they're actually resting on the top of the um, shelving unit. And also you've got this here as well. So it's just extra support for when you're on there. Feels really sturdy, you don't feel like, oh, are we gonna drop? It's good. Let's show you inside the bathroom, as soon as you're already here. So this is the second area. Again, it's got heaps and heaps of storage. Um, you've got all your different cupboards here with all your little bits and pieces in there. You've got another one just here. Another storage over here. There is so much to put all your toilet rolls and stuff. You've also got a heated rail here. The towel rail here is heated as well. And the toilet is not plastic, it's pot. Feels very posh. So this is why they call it the Dreamliner, because you've got a pot toilet and also a lovely size sink. This isn't pot but really good size. And here's the laundry basket. Two different lightings and little hooks to hang your towels. Perfect. Now, the other thing I really like about this is, this is where I would use this. When you want to get changed, you don't want to, you've got the blinds up because you want to see beautiful views in the mountains. You can shut this off here. Obviously have this shot, shut off here and then you've got all this space here to get changed. You've got a mirror, full size mirror in front of you. Perfect. Lovely shower. You've got hooks in here, which are a great idea because I've never seen any of the bathrooms with the hooks. So you can hang your towel or your face wipe, face cloth or something in there. You've also got a little shelf to put all your little bits and pieces in here. With this shower, I've actually got the, is it called a rain shower? that comes from the top. So you've got two different showers. This is the shower that I use because I don't like to get my hair wet. <laughs> and I'm obviously not going to pull any of the things because there's water attached, but I love the lighting in here. It's so bright in the shower and it's really big. Yes, chicken dance is required. Loads of room to do the chicken dance. <laughs> you've also got double drainage holes as well which is great. And I like it being black. It doesn't show so much dirt up, does it? It's really good. The shower is super, super powerful as well. So I mentioned there is storage in abundance here. We've got it not only at the front where the two cab seats are, we've also got it here. And Andy showed you when you were outside, are you being able to put the store, the, all, put all the bits and pieces in through the door lockers? This is where you can reach it so you don't have to go outside so we lift up this here super deep the third underfloor storage is located just here this is crazy this is a huge living area storage Ooh, spring loaded got a coats in here 
massive again super deep and we've also got handles for doing the grey waste the water so now we're in the kitchen area again storage we've got i love it i've got one of these at home and it's brilliant it's great so handy spices and all your little bits and pieces you want for when you're cooking and making some amazing jamie oliver recipes you've got everything to hand obviously we're not living in this so we've just got our teas and coffees in here but great excellent nice big deep cupboards and then we've got unfortunately we can't use it because we don't have a corrupts but the coffee machine got its own little cubby hole now i found this amazing because when we were driving i wanted to get something out of the cupboard and i couldn't when we parked up when we were waiting at the traffic lights because clever is this little this button here you can open your cupboards but you press the button it locks it so when you're driving it automatically locks the cupboard but if say you needed to come and get something because you were stuck in traffic or you know just waiting for ages you can press the button it releases it you can get into your drawers sink area we've got your two-piece part so you can use this as a extra oh gosh i'm not doing that very well there we go extra chopping board it out the way as well look at that oh life goals <laughs> love it do your veg give it a good old wash wash around your sink perfect and then your three stove uh, gas hob and then we've also got an oven we miss an oven so it's great we haven't actually used this because it's still got all the plastic on it because sir uh, they've not used it at all i didn't want to be the first ones but yeah look at this lovely clean oven and it's actually quite a good size in there as well and it's a good high because some of them they have them really high and they're too high to cook and have a look so you've got a really big cutlery drawer and again it's all soft clothes and i like all the ambient lighting underneath it as well it's really lovely the lighting is crazy we we haven't even been able to count up how many lights there are and how many plug sockets and switches there are. There is just so many. So this again, handy storage, but we've also got, give it an extra pull and you've got a double bin. So we're all into recycling now. So you've got your main bin, which is all your black rubbish. And then you've got your recycling to put in there. So you've got your two separate areas. And I love all oh, the curvaceous. It's just nothing's really hard. It's all very soft lines, isn't it? soft lighting so fabulous you got your dometic you got your aldi heating so aldi heating those that haven't had aldi we haven't got it in our motorhome it is really good it does take a little bit longer to heat up but when it does it's amazing it's like having radiators it's all pipe so it's wet heating and it is really good we really like it we're very impressed with it it's kept us toasty and warm when it's got really cold so you've got this button here to actually open if you don't want to pull the handle because you can't be bothered press this little button this is so cute oh there you go and out you go it's good isn't it lighting wise we have lots of dars we've had quite a few problems with the lighting in terms of like we don't know which does what because there are so many light switches 21 but we found the uh, 21 yeah we found the first one this one actually is for outside on the awning light the second one here is for the door light Am I saying this right? Yes, I am. Then, love this. I'm going to just show you. I'm going to press it and you need to look over there and you'll see what it actually does. So this one here is for your lights underneath the lounge area and they come on. This one is for the strip lights above. And if you actually hold it, the lighting gets brighter. And press it again and it dims. So all the blue lights that are underneath the kitchen cabinet and also around the bottom of the lounge area, the blue lighting, another socket, and then the bottom one is for the step. So you've got this light here, which is really good because it shows you where the step is and it reminds you. But when you've got the ambient lighting, you probably don't want that because it's very bright. They've even thought of that. You press a little button here and you can turn it off. So the last thing in the kitchen area is obviously the fridge. 
Cathargo are really good on having a really big fridge. Right then, this is my absolute favourite area. We're now going to go to the lounge. This is the huge seating area and it is amazing. We have loved it. We've been here now for two nights, loved it. Andy sadly has shoved me in this corner. But to be fair, it's very comfortable. Put your legs out, nice and comfortable. We've got a big TV that I shall show you in a moment that sits there. Get to my gin and tonic. I'll just show you Andy's space. Whilst I was unpacking everything, I looked up and found Andy sat here, proud as punch, obviously bagging the best seat. Here we go. I actually haven't done this because I've not had the opportunity because, oh, here we go. Oh, how far does it go? Oh, it's quite a long way, isn't it? Oh, does it, does it go flat? <laughs> oh, now you're talking. Oh, babe, look, my feet are still on it. That is so comfy. I'm watching the England match on it. I'm definitely watching the match. No chance. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, you've, I've had two nights over there. This is my night. This is the last night. Oh, this is genius. Oh, yeah. Lionel. Lionel the liner for two. I've named it officially. We've got Lionel now. <laughs> I love it. And it's nice having the headrest as well. Lovely colour. Nice leather. Easy to wipe down. Good sized table. Not too big. But obviously, if there's five or six of you sitting around here very comfortably i think you could probably get eight around here it would be a bit of a squeeze but if you've got a family like we have there's quite a few of us isn't there i think we still get eight of us here but definitely get five or six people around here comfortably so you're going to show the tv yes i am i haven't actually had a go of this yet i've not been allowed to touch it it's been andy's domain but here we go so bottom here press it up This is actually 40 inch TV. It's massive. In a motorhome. Superb. I have got one little gripe, is that when it does come out, there's a bit of a gap here and I do worry whatever's on here might drop down. So it'd be nice just to have something maybe just to block that off. But if anything does drop down, such as like, because we've got a USB and a socket here, so I have my phone attached. If anything did drop down, you can get it out from behind the, um, the drawers but yeah it'd just be nice to be able to slide something out just to stop that because that does worry me with the sockets being there should we just take a moment just to take in the telly loads and loads of cupboard space how many cupboards oh mm. i did tell 39? you 39 35 oh, i was close We've also got, again, full blackout blinds and also fly nets should you need them. You've got two huge windows. These um, skylights are massive and they let in so much light. I think that's what is the so the beauty of the liner for two is having the light with the light cupboards. It's not so much dark, there's not so much brown. It's just, it's just beautiful and I love this colour leather. It's stunning. Liner for two, it can actually be a liner for four. Yes, it can. And I do know this because I found them. We have seat belts at the back here. So your seat belts come out. That's why you've got a little gap here. These are actually for the belts, as you can see. So you can have two people whilst you're traveling sat here. And also you can make, the, I think there's a kit that you can get, isn't there? It's just a different table. Oh, is it just the table that's different? So you can actually have, so if you've got friends and they want to come with you, they can also come. You've not just got two seat belts at the front. They can come and this can be their sleeping area as well. That's three days in the liner for two. Amazing. It's been fantastic. Oh my goodness. So stunning. This is so sick and these. It is beautiful. Absolutely fantastic. And in the evenings, especially in the winter time when it gets dark early, we're not climbing mountains then. I know we're extreme, but we're not crazy. Mm. <laughs> so we've loved it. Yeah. I think for me, basically, most of us have been inside a liner for two at the motorhome shows and, and, and seen them inside. It's been completely different living inside it because 
everything you get to experience everything that just works so well it's those little things like they have cupboards open and they from both sides and they just glide across each other the bathroom is so good in terms of the position for washing your face the depth of the sink now every little thing in here it just seems to work i think it's as close as you can get in a motorhome to a no compromise because with motorhomes yeah. you know we have that conversation do want fixed beds do want a rear lounge garage and they never quite all work together and this comes as close as i think you can get i say as close as rather than saying perfect because that garage thing we have to lift the uh, the seat covers off is it's not perfect but i, yeah. I can see you know what else can you do really if you want to have a garage under your your rear lounge. I think it's such a shame we didn't have our bikes with us because I would have absolutely loved to have tried the two because they're big full size um, I've got a man's bike as well but they're both the same size aren't they full size um, e-bikes they are really big so that would be my only thing is I wish we had bought the bikes to try them out because there's been lots of questions about it so in theory on paper it's going to fit they will definitely fit you're not going to get a scooter in there as well though it's just going to be two bikes yeah, um, you can get a scooter on its own. Yeah, scooter on its own is actually quite easy to get in, isn't it? That's what it's designed for, is to put just a scooter in there. But at the minute, we still want our e-bikes. Um, and also the space when you've got the e-bikes in there, whether you're going to get all your toys in there. Mm. You've got a kayak, you've got a SUP. You know, I don't know if that would all fit in there mm. as well. I think we'd need that because they do a long version. This is the standard l version. There is a long version of this as well. So that, so that gives you a bigger depth of garage, garage doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. yeah. I think, I mean... Honestly, we want to review it and we want to give you an honest opinion. And Cathargo have asked us to do that and said, if you don't like things, then please tell us. We've really struggled. The yeah. only, and it's not something that we don't like, it was just where the TV comes out and that everything, you know, because you've got your sockets down here, that things could fall down there. It's just having something to glide over to stop anything falling down, even though you can get it. That's all I found. I've got one as well. Oh, <laughs> and, and hopefully it should be kind of quite a simple, easy one. But it's a big thing for me is uh, in the bedrooms, there's two two lights and they're not dimmable and they're really, really bright. So when you're lying there and the, the light's coming on, it, it's... Uh, oh, when I keep turning it on, go, oh, yeah. I forgot to get that. Oh, I yeah. forgot to do that. So that, that for me is uh, a big thing, yes. but uh, hopefully a small thing that, that yeah. can be fixed because all these lights around here dim. Yeah. yeah. I don't know why those can't dim as well. Having the dimmable lights has been a game changer as well, hasn't it? In the evening, it's been so lovely. It's just been a really nice ambient feeling. The whole thing about this motorhome is luxury, pure luxury. It is just beautiful. Well, you, you basically can't just live without thinking about things. Yeah. So quite often I'll go to the, we're on, we're on a site today at Nairsborough, and quite often I'll go to the shower blocks because they're really nice here. But uh, it was, it's actually been nicer inside the motorhome. Literally pulled up with probably a fullish tank of water. And uh, we've just uh, lived, had showers, and, yeah. and the water and the heating, everything's just been working fine. We've not thought about anything. We've just thought no. about living rather than the chores of yeah, yeah. Li living in a motorhome. Magical. Yeah. So my final words are, I had really high expectations when I knew we were taking this out for the weekend. They were exceeded. No word of a lie. It's it's just like it's ten out of ten. Yeah, I'm giving him an eleven out of ten. <laughs> I just absolutely. Well, no, I can't give him an eleven out of ten because I've tried the garage. <laughs> it. it. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get actually give it a nine out of ten only because I don't know about the garage. On paper, it's good. I just want to see it. So I've just got to have that one more point by trying. It's it. in reserve. It's in reserve. Yeah. Yeah. It's a ten out of ten, so long as our bikes go in that garage. Yeah. Otherwise, I'll have to have a point knocked off if it's a bit of a struggle. <laughs> <laughs> well, you never to put the bikes in the garage anyway. Oh, I know. I know. <laughs> I'm at the gym. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you've enjoyed our review. And um, yeah, if this isn't our normal thing, we do lots of exciting adventures and things, but occasionally we will be doing some more reviews. Bye! Bye for now. <laughs>